Since I did my latest film at Tunnel Barn Farm, I've been asked the question why I finished up making my own jiggers for fishing shallow for F1s. The main thing, a lot of the time in the summer you're fishing for big weights of F1s. I mean at Lindome on the Benny's Lake you can catch 300 plus pound weights. You don't want the float to, to break down on you and destroy. And a lot of the handmade floats, they look fantastic, but the problem is they break very easily. So that's no good for me. I wanted something that's indestructible. The float that I use, the, the inline crystal dibber, it's, it's perfect for fishing shallow because you can be fishing as shallow as sort of 8 to 10 inch deep. And of course the float's clear, the, the crystal floats. So the float you can't see when it's in the water, so that's a big, big advantage. How I actually make these is very, very simple. I just use a model knife and I cut off the, the stem of the float. I find the, the top of the stem of the float and I cut that off with a model knife. So I just cut it off and take the stem off and do away with that. The next thing, once I've actually cut the stem off, I can then just file the bottom of the float. I use a file, just flatten the bottom of the float so it's nice and clean. I then get a pin and I shove a pin through the actual float to make sure that the hole is perfectly in line, which this one is. Once I've done that, I then use a model knife and I pair, I actually cut round about probably three millimetres up from the actual bottom of the float. Just trim round with a knife. Just All I'm doing is just putting a, a slight groove all around the, the crystal dibber. And then I pair it back. And what I'm trying to make is a shoulder that's either quite flat or even just slightly tapered in. And this is for the lead to fit on, the actual coil of lead. I use a coil of lead on the bottom of the float. Now this needs to be fixed in place very well and the only glue that I can find that is perfect for this is the Gorilla Glue. And this is so good because once all I do I use an old float and I just put some glue around the base of the float so the lead fits over it. This glue is so good because it expands and once it expands that lead cannot come off and I've used these floats for quite some time now I've never had the lead come off the float so the float is almost indestructible so there you have it the crystal dibber made into a crystal jigger it's took me about five minutes to make that but it's a float that will catch you lots and lots of fish and it's up to you to make them and get out on the bank and test them. <laughs>